If you build it, you might just chase them away. The parking lot in front of Fry's Electronics was massive, but even so, it seems small in comparison to the 150,000 square feet or so of store space. But walking in the door with a computer to be repaired, the first step in running the gauntlet of service was to be stopped by an unsmiling, clearly unhappy at work and willing to share it customer service representative who interrogates you and your broken computer. Frankly, the only thing that surprised me was that I wasn't read my Miranda rights. Now, thinking smooth sailing was ahead, I arrived at the repair service desk to be immediately greeted by a technician. However, after 45 minutes, he was still unable to unlock the diagnostic kit, the key to which was apparently entrusted only to his supervisor, who was nowhere to be found. Eventually, I couldn't wait any longer. I left the computer to be diagnosed, but it took the technician another 10 minutes or so to get his own printer to work to produce the necessary paperwork to be signed. Why build a large and attractive store and then allow the entire experience to be shattered by strange procedures, uncaring employees, and printers in the service department that don't work? Why build a medical group and then destroy your relationship with referring physicians? the hospital, or patients by way of a rude receptionist, a disgruntled employed physician, or even one of your fellow partners. I've seen 20 to 30 million dollar per year practices destroyed as a result of this type of behavior and frankly lack of management and training. Just like Fry's should be doing, ask yourself if you are running a success prevention department.